impossible goal and celebrates with the crowd. Lindsay Thomas drives a nail into Calgary. Welcome back. The Kangaroos are struggling at the moment, yet to win a game, but they're not far away, folks, we think. And we've got one of their star players joining us tonight, making his debut on the panel as a Margaret panellist. Please welcome Lindsay Thomas. Lindsay, yeah. great to have you on board. You're a bona fide Margaretka now. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, excited to be here and... Uh... Yeah, a bit nervous at the start, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Have you on board? And it's great yeah, that the audience right. are clapping for you, mate, not booing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes uh, a change. Yeah, a bit of a change, but I'll, I'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, with, with the Kangaroos at the moment, you're at that stage where you're playing great footy, but you can't win a game, and it sort of doesn't sound too logical. But you know, obviously, the experts, Warsey and Dougie and all of them, think you're not too far away. Um, what has the coach basically said to you about the last few weeks? Because you've been in positions to win games. Is it a matter of not zoning off properly in that last five minutes of the game? Has he spoken about anything like that to you? Yeah, I think you uh, said it perfectly at the start. Um, you know, we're, we've played some really good sides and I think we've played the teams that are going to be thereabouts oh, in the off-season and the final Johnson, series. So, Johnson, you know, we're playing, playing some really good footy. Um, you know, we're playing, you know, two, three quarters and... You know, we're just having lapses and it's costing us dearly. So, you know, unfortunately we sit here at uh, zip and five where easily we could probably be three and two. So, um, we'll go back to the drawing board and, um, you know, hope we've got the goal coast this week and you know, hopefully we can get our first win. But, you know, there's been a lot of pos positives coming out of um, this year so far. You know, we've got a lot of young kids coming through and that's been a real positive for us. And, um, you know, we're... We're just around the corner, you know. We're going we're gonna to put a four-quarter effort around there. and yeah. um, But, yeah, again, we're playing some really good footy. Now, yeah. Lindsay, um, we just saw Daniel Wells play his first game for Collingwood. Yeah. And, of course, he was a, a much-loved um, player down at North Melbourne. What's it like now with him gone you from... Brother? Yeah, do you miss your brother? <laughs> <laughs> your brother yeah, boy? Yeah, I was, it was a bit weird, actually. Um, my wife and, you know, my two, my two girls, we were mm. watching him on the weekend and... You know, my, my daughter's absolutely adore Uncle Wellesie and, you know, they were a bit Black confused. White, yeah, 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 so, um, yeah, I do miss him, yeah, I won't lie. It's, uh, it's different, um, you know, seeing him play for, for Collingwood, but, um, you know, I can't be happy for him. He, he uh, you know, he, he's copped a lot of criticism since he's gone over to the Pies and, you know, to come out on Anzac Day and put in that performance that he did, I just couldn't be more proud of him. And as, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Look, mate, I've... What? 200 games, because I'll tell you what, you've done a great effort to play 200 games because a lot of Indigenous players have come over and, mm. you know, we get homesick and we go back home and, you know, they could play a lot more games. You stuck it out. Mm. I, I know you've, you've had it hard at, at times, but you've stuck mm. it all out. And to, when I was seeing you play that 200, it, it, it made me really proud of you, brother. So well done. Yeah. I, just, I, wanna, I wanna talk about where it all started for Lindsay Thomas, because I know you're a Port Lincoln boy and I know you grew up with the Burgines and all these other guys and you got recruited to the, the famous Port Adelaide Football Club in the Sandful and coaches, Greg Phillips, the daughter, played in the Women's yeah. League and Timmy Geneva. Tell us a bit about your upbringing and how it all started. Yeah, I, um, you know, I guess I you know, grew up in Port Lincoln, born and bred and, um, yeah, you know, I had a very good um, upbringing. You know, I had great family support and good people around me and, you know, I made the hard choice to, to move to Adelaide as a you know 14, 15 year old to um, you know to you know follow my footy dream and um, you know I stayed in Adelaide for a couple of years and you know like you said I was coached by some really famous Port Adelaide royalty footballers down mm. there and you know yeah fortunately I got I got picked up um, by North Melbourne and I still remember like it was yesterday when I when uh, you know when they rang me up and you know, they told me and well, no, I was a Saturday and I had to be on a plane on on the Monday and. I had just a backpack and, and I went over and <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect and you know I told my girlfriend now my wife at the time that um, it's cold over here yeah yeah <laughs> that I'd only you know I'd last for two years mm -hmm. but you know I, I've had good people at the footy club that's helped me along the way and um, great family support obviously from my side but also from my wife's side as well and um, you know it's been been a tough journey but um, you know I've, I've definitely had um, you know, good people around me to, Who to did support. Who you follow when you were a young fella? I did follow Port Power. Um, <laughs> you know, I loved, um, like, you know, like Gilly said, I was fortunate enough um, that, that, you know, I'm related to Sean and, and Peter and, you know, obviously Graham and, and Byron Pickett and, yeah. you know, pl played alongside with Eddie as well. And, yep. um, 
you know, we've had we've had great people, mm. uh, great footballers come from Mallee Park Footy mm. Club, and um, you know, you couldn't go past Sean and Peter. Um, yeah, no, as, 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 as growing up, Lindsay, have you always been a, uh, as we see now, a small forward? Have you had the ability to go into that midfield? Because we all know, Robert, you're getting that. If you get pensioned as a small forward, it can be very hard yeah. sometimes to be that goal kicker all the time. Yeah. Have you had the ability to go into the midfield and get a bit of a break from that forward pocket? Um, I guess, you know, growing up in Port Lincoln, I, I was always that younger kid playing in the older grades. So yeah. um, I was probably more of a small forward then. But obviously when I made that transition over to, to Adelaide, um, I did play more wing, a little bit midfield. But... I think, you know, small forward, I think you always love kicking even goals. Now, so. Even now you still couldn't go into the midfield? Um, you know, I've, I've, um, we've tried it over That's the pre-season. Okay, okay. um, you know, we've, we've got some great players that play in our midfield as, as well. And, um, you know, look, I, I don't mind having a pinch hit in there, but my preferred position would be playing that midfield role. All right. Well, let's hold it there, Gilbert, and let's take a look at Lindsay's side now. North Melbourne taking on the Gold Coast. Saturday night at any end. Under the roof, Gilly. Yeah, look, a couple of interesting uh, additions there. Good to see Higgins back in the side. And young Jed Anderson, the boy from Darwin. Good to see Jed back into the side. How the side swallows been our minute and our legend Lindsay's there, but he'll be back. Don't worry about that. Cunnington, 200 or oh, 150 games right for the Gold Coast Suns. Into the side, Lonergan. The other Swallows being arrested, that's interesting. So they've left them both out. I don't know. Jack Martin, you talk about 50 games. This kid's not bad, Jack Martin. Good Robert Wolf, you'd love the way he plays. 50 games already, Jack Martin. You'll play 250. <laughs> the, the Gold Coast are a very interesting club. They were formed, you know, around about the same time, them and GWS. They both got a lot of draft picks. The last couple of years, the Gold Coast have been able to use injuries probably as an excuse why they haven't been playing well. This year they've got another couple of major injuries. I'm just wondering whether we're going to another see, a, see another season where the Gold Coast don't make the eight and will blame injuries again. I mean, yeah. is that good enough for a club that has a number, you know, 35 you know, top draft picks to be able to use that as an excuse? No, look, I, I think the time has come for them to, to stand on their own two feet and show a bit of resilience. Like, uh, they, they, they have been disappointing, I think, because they came into it a year before GWS. We've seen what GWS has been able to do. Uh, look, GWS had, had a, a better go at the young talent than, than Gold Coast, but I just think uh, it's time that... We just saw some solidness in their play because they get blown mm. away in quarters. Like mm. they'll be going okay, and then in one quarter they just don't get their hands on the footy. I think Rodney E's got a pretty tough job there. The other important thing is that they keep the talent that they get there because you think about the quality that's left that club. You know, mm. Bernal is one, Dion Prestia, who's going to be here tonight. Uh, Caddy's another. Like there's a lot of young fellows that have gone up there, but they haven't been able to retain them. Yeah, and Dougie, uh, big Goldstein down at North Melbourne, he's, he has to hit some form again because he's very important to North Melbourne, isn't he? Layla, 100%. You hit it right on the head. You're spot on. Last year he was one of the favourites, maybe, mm. for the Brownlow medal. Uh, he's not in that form. There's no way no one he's in that form. I think I got that pretty right. I think he was going to be... Everyone thought he piled very well last year in the Brownlow medal. He's right, nowhere near that form. He, that's right, because you said it, Doug. Yeah, he's, <laughs> now, he's nowhere near that form. He's very, very critical that side. There's no doubt about it. And just to you, Warsley, very quickly, Grant, um, as a coach, do you ever made a statement, Robert, as a coach, to drop players, to show the playing group that you're not playing... If you're losing games, like we see Lindy out of the side, we see Andrew mm. Swallow, mm. two sort of senior guys Swallow, out of your former captain Swallow. Yeah, out of your sight. You ever done that, Robert? Before made a statement that uh, we're not going to tolerate. Yes, and, and I think if you've got quality players and senior players who are dropped, it puts everybody on notice that to say, well, if it can happen to uh, Swallow and Thomas, it can happen to anybody. Uh, just a question to you, Lindsay. We've all been dropped at some point of our yeah, career, correct. and it's not much fun, and it's part yeah. of the character of, you know, bouncing back. Have you been told why you've been dropped? Yeah, I have, and, you know, obviously I'm disappointed that, you know, I don't get to, to play on, on Saturday with the boys, but in saying that, you know, I'm a, I'm a senior player. I, um, I know what, what I have to do um, to get back in the, in, the, in the seniors, and along with Andrew, we'll, we'll both go back to Werribee on Saturday and, you know, we'll, we'll play for Werribee. We'll, res we'll represent North Melbourne still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I know as a player what I have to do and there's no point me um, being a senior player and, and, and moping around, I guess. Because yeah, um, we've got such a young group, mm. um, you know, those young players do feed off, off senior players like myself and Andrew. Mm -hmm. So 
we'll, we'll, we'll support the boys as well. Um, but in saying that, we, uh, we'll go back on Saturday and hopefully it's just a one-week one stint. Mm. Just quickly, you, um, being an older statesman, you might have lost Daniel Wells, but there's this young kid named Joyce, Joy Simpkin. We've got to give him a rap because he's from the Ash Academy program from Shepparton where I worked. So well done. Just tell us a bit about him quickly, or just yeah, uh, we we got a real real ripper here. He's uh, you know he's he broke his leg at the start of last year, and um, you know experts were saying if he didn't break his leg, he'd probably be top three draft pick. So okay. that's how good he One is. One word tips there. Let's go first to you, Walsey. Uh, I, I reckon North Melbourne's ready to uh, break the duck. That's yeah. eight words. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroos. Um, <laughs> kangaroos. Yeah. Kangaroos. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, kangaroos and gilly. Oh, One look, word. look, no. Oh, yeah. One word. <laughs> North. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm off Melbourne to get their first victory. Okay, folks, time for a short break. Rowan Connolly up next. <laughs> <laughs>